In health news, U.S. News and World Report recognizes the top 50 children's hospitals in the nation every year. Our own Helen DeVos Children's Hospital has ranked on this list for the past five years. Their pediatric cancer program, led by Dr. James Fonner, has maintained a spot on that list the entire time. Dr. Fonner is here with us today to discuss what they are doing at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital to impact the lives of kids with cancer across West Michigan. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Todd. How are you? You've got to tell me first, what, what does the U.S. News World Report, this, this ranking that comes out, what does it mean to the, to the Children's Hospital? Well, we're very excited about it, obviously. We're very proud of our entire team, but we're very humbled as well by this recognition. We know that it's kind of a national good housekeeping seal of approval that says that our, our hard work, our commitment and dedication to our children and families has really been recognized nationally as one of the very best. So this list that comes out when this happens, uh, do, we, do we throw a small party at the hospital? <laughs> do, we, do, we, do we say, yep, we did it again? We do. We recognize that, and I think we take about five or ten minutes <laughs> to, <laughs> to do that, and then we get on to the really important work, which is that day's children and families who've been entrusted to our care. We don't really take a lot of time patting ourselves <laughs> on the back, so we appreciate the opportunity to be recognized. Well, let me pat you on the back. Thank if you. You won't take the time for yourself, because I think most who live in West Michigan, when they talk to others about West Michigan, Michigan, uh, or for those might, who might be considering moving here, <laughs> Helen DeVos Children's Hospital and their programs always comes up. We get kind of a gold star on our fridge, if you, if you will, for those who are coming here with families. What makes the, the center that you have uh, so unique? Why, why is it on this list? Well, thank you. We do think it's a point of pride, and it is uh, absolutely one of those things that makes West Michigan so extraordinary to have one of the nation's youngest children's hospitals and yet to be recognized as one of the very best. And I think the thing that makes us uh, really so extraordinary in many ways is the fact that this is a team effort. It is not just uh, a single physician or a single nurse, but it's the social workers, the child eye specialists, the pharmacists, the technologists and technicians who have all been gathered together who specifically love this work. They are called to take care of children. They know how to take care of families in crisis, and they are really the, the experts, the acknowledged experts, and they've dedicated their careers to this work. And we're seeing a list on our screen right now of the support programs and services that you offer. It really is a team effort. It is very much so and uh, we talk about uh, that really catastrophic new diagnosis and how anxiety provoking that is for the family to be able to reassure them that there is hope for treatment and for cure and that they are going to be well cared for by an extraordinarily dedicated team of professionals. And you mentioned that I'm glad you said families because many of those who have been affected by cancer for their children obviously the focus is on the child and the getting the best care and getting the best treatment to cure them but the families also go through quite a situation it's quite a, something for them to go through, and, and Helen DeVos Children's Hospital really offers a lot of support for the family as well. It's so very true. No child comes into our children's hospital in isolation. We know that this is a child who is part of a family with grandparents and with parents and siblings and an extended family, their neighborhood, their, their church affiliation, their school classroom. These are all people who care deeply about how that child is going to do in this catastrophic medical situation. And so we have great programs like Child Life, like our pediatric oncology resource team who recognize that that entire family needs our support, especially people that we sometimes forget about, like those siblings and extended family members. Absolutely. And we're seeing some great pictures of right now, and each one of these photos really could tell a story. I mean, there, it's just, it's yes. amazing. We could literally go down each one of those, and, and, and you could see and feel just from one photograph the dedication that the team at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital has. Yes, each photo does truly speak a thousand words about the, the incredible journey that those children are on, and we, we are are humbled each and every day to know that we are uh, among these incredibly uh, wise beyond their years but also phenomenally brave children who are, are going through this. Uh, we, we never have a bad day because we get a chance to work with these extraordinary kids and families. And what would you say working with these cancer programs personally on a personal level for you? What, why is it so important to you? Well this is a really touching time of year for us because it's a time that we have a chance to look back. Many of our families reach out at the end of the school year and it's the time time when our walls are covered with the graduation announcements and the wedding invitations and the open houses for the end of school and for us to know that that child has been through an extraordinarily life-threatening experience and has come out the other side as a cured healthy young adult and is now going to be out and launched on their way to school on their way to start their lives it's phenomenally heartwarming for us to know that we've been a little part of that journey. 
So when you're coming to work, you're seeing a hallway covered with all these photos, mm -hmm. and I'm sure it strikes you on a personal note to say you had a part in continuing that child's life. It really does. We, we know that we are part of that uh, successful journey, and one of the greatest things of all is that not only are those kids out there and doing beautifully, but many of them have now come full circle and have returned to Helen DeVos Children's Hospital in professional roles to work with us as nurse practitioners, as technicians and technologists who want to now give back to that same process. That's the greatest reward there is. That's, that's an amazing story. Thank you, Dr. Thanks. Ponder. Appreciate your time today. Thanks so much. Thanks. Dr. Ponder is located on the 10th floor of Helen DeVos Children's Hospital, which is located, you, you've seen the building, 100 Michigan Street Northeast. It's unmistakable part of our skyline. You can call them at 616-391-3516 or visit them online at HelenDevosChildrens.org slash cancer.